Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back. But we are checking water heater. This is, uh, I think there's two or three types of uh, water heater, water heater tanks and everything. So I have a Suburban. This rod will sacrifice itself, uh, especially if you have like high iron content and uh, other crap in your water. This will sacrifice itself before the tank will. So these will actually get eaten down, um, corrode, sacrifice in itself, um, and it will start to look like Swiss cheese and deteriorate and all the way down to where it's no good anymore and doesn't work. Then it starts eating your tank. So we're going to check it today uh, just to see, clean it out, <clears throat> see what kind of crap we got in there, um, and uh, replace it. As far as I know, this is a Suburban, uh, suburban Takes. A nano rod if you have an atwood and that wood does mm -hmm. not does not have a nano rod probably a fiberglass tank where it doesn't really need it but we don't we have this so let's get into it and let's see how this is this is gonna go so pretty much what I got here uh, five X five inch extension uh, one and one sixteenth inch is what you're going to need to uh, take this off this is the overflow right here So, pretty much get in here. Oh, this one's coming off super easy. Heard of other people like the whole thing will start to turn and now and it's not hot. I turned off the Ooh. Turned off the heater last night, so we got some. Damn, that thing exploded! But turned off the the electric heater last night, so this is the anode rod. This is what it looks like. This is uh, nine months old or so, maybe not quite nine. Right down there is where it's going to start eating. So it, basically, it was this thick to begin with. So we just gotta let that drain out and then we're gonna put a hose to it and uh, see what we can do, clean that clean that bad boy up. Get shot in my butt. Oh yeah, there you go. Anyway, I got all the water. Uh, the top is still popped right now where the overflow is going. Got my handy dandy wand right here. So I re you can reach in here and you can feel down on the bottom a whole bunch of uh, um, just corrosion I guess is what you got so um, while we're on break I did one of these things uh, put the the Teflon tape you know around it to uh, help prevent the corrosion so this thing is basically like only 50% done so I technically could put this thing back in and uh, wait another you know six months or something like that and then uh, you guys could be paying somebody probably two, three hundred dollars to do this, but nope. Cost me two dollars and fifty cents to get a one and one sixteenth socket. Got the rest. Anode rod is running uh, at like twelve, fifteen bucks, something like that. Two types of anode rods. There's a magnesium and an aluminum. The magnesium is what they originally put in here, and that goes like this. So far, what I heard, the aluminum not only does it give off a kind of a little funny taste but it doesn't it, it can last like two years well if it, something lasts that long and it never really disintegrates it doesn't sacrifice itself is it really doing the job that it's supposed to be doing so anyway so right now just stick this bad boy in there I'm gonna give it point it up to the top as much as you can back more running out you'll see I got probably a quarter cup something like that of all the crap that's been coming out uh, you do this until it, it all stops coming out so I think I got this pretty good you can stick your finger in there I feel the bottom of the tank and it is uh, smooth no um, crap is down there or anything but I probably ran 
probably ran a good five minutes just just going to beat hell on this thing and get the final little drain coming in take the handle rod stick back in and you're basically you're done I'm going to tighten that down I'm sure there's specs on it but a little bit after tight I went wrench down on this thing it didn't take a whole lot to get off uh, so I'm not going to put it on all that tight so so about all I have left to do here is uh, tighten this up and uh, put it back on hook up the water fill it back up and there we go that is it for today so till next time guys appreciate you all uh, tuning in remember throw the bones football season's coming up